it's Lizalia or Lizzie and we have episode 4 of Princess SMP. This one's a bit long but you know it was all lore. We sat through a very long meeting but it has a lot of important information so enjoy. <laughs> Airs, <laughs> you may take your seats if you so choose. Um, So we have come to discuss something with you all. I will be passing the message along to Night Ash as well in this regard. Um, there has been a discovery of sorts. There has been a discovery of sorts where myself and all the other princesses were given a key and a book with coordinates. We have since gone on uh, missions, which you may or may not have known of, to discover what is at these coordinates. Both locations, both in the nether and in the overworld, revealed nothing. Um, so we are still working on deciphering what is to come. However, Princess Maholia has a... Uh, a hunch that it may to may be towards a place called the end dimension it is a from what i know it is a very very old dimension probably as old as the nether and the overworld combined probably i would want to say it almost dates before the winter kingdom and they are they are old they are immortal <laughs> Um, so they want to go majority of the kingdoms from my understanding a lot of them are discussing it but the elven kingdom at least our allies want to go we wanted to discuss with you all today what your opinions are on this because where I stand is we gain absolutely nothing from assisting in this other oh. than maybe materials. Um, but there is a very big what? I was raising my hand. I'd like to add I'd like, I'd like to add something. Is it what you discussed with me? Because I was getting to that. Mm, no. What what is it? I mean it's part of it, but it's uh, the fact that they need our materials to actually get into the end as well. Oh yes, yeah. I don't know how much material they need. Um Do what they need specifically? Plays? I am under the impression that they don't necessarily need it, but it would be a lot. Uh, if we were to supply it, it would be the fastest and easiest way versus spanning the overworld for locations that may house one or two here and there when we have a literal infinite supply. I don't know if they, I don't know the logistics of it. Um, they are under the impression that wherever this these coordinates lead us to, should we have had them wrong, um, we may not need the ability to open the dimension. Um, just supply them with armor and materials <laughs> that... If they pay heavily enough, I would assume that we would let them keep. But if we let them keep it, we are we are down the upper hand when it comes to protection and uh, strength. Because it would not just be the Elven Kingdom that is looking to armor up, per se. Now, the biggest issue that Fang has brought up is if we don't, there is the possibility of a 3v1. And in the last couple of days, learning that Princess Maholia has been... I don't know if this is malicious. And this is something that I have <coughs> talked to you fully about. The trades that we have been doing or the things that they have been giving us and we have owed them have been paid. In full. However, one of the things that they were requ requested was water breathing potions. And I have since learned that water breathing potions allow mermaids to breathe on air. Breathe on air. Breathe air on land. Mm. So, with that being said, 
if we do not assist and they do not wish to just do it without our help and without our resources and they wish to uh, take said resources, it has now become a 3v1 to a 4v1. Maybe not, maybe still 3v1 because I don't think that the Elven Kingdom would attack necessarily, but we might lose our ally there and that would not be good since um, our ally has the our, uh, only way to the overworld. Uh, Fang, did I miss anything? No, I think you got it. All right, well, round table, literally, open discussion for uh, thoughts and feelings. So, they've been trading for water breeding potions. Have they been like, did they intentionally deceive us to give them to the mermaids? I'm or are they sure. keeping them themselves? Because I just, that's a little. So the series of events that happened was someone racked up a bill that we then owed them for. Hmm. Um, and what they requested was water breathing potions. Now, I told them that we would need the materials for it because water breathing potions require pufferfish, which is an overworld product. We then made the potions, paid them, and it was fine. They then wanted quartz, and they were willing to trade a mending book for quartz. So my scythe now has mending on it and is much stronger than it was before, which is a good thing. However, to get that mending book, they then traded with the mermaids. So it was a three-way trade. Yes. And I know this information, not meta, because Maddie had told me that she had traded with the mermaids to get what with the water breathing potions. So I feel a little bit betrayed by that, just because the, although the mermaid kingdom is the weakest, I would argue, amongst our, uh, a 1v1, should it be on common ground. However, with them having the ability to breathe on land, they now have the potential option to come here where before they could not because if they put water down it would just simply disappear but now they can breathe here so the the chances of them coming here should we not supply them with materials could likely increase that is a hypothesis that is a assumption in the end they could not even need us they could go to the dimension and be fined with just diamond armor hmm I may but. sound arrogant, but the threat of them coming here doesn't necessarily scare me. It does not scare me. More so just raises a flag for me. It is something else to keep on the back of my mind, and my mind is very full as it is. So. And the other thing is they'd be limited on time. They would. They'd have, at max, maybe about eight minutes to commit an assassination. However... That all depends on strength and numbers. And so in this, in my worry and in my uh, concern, I very much heavily push and advise a buddy system. I do not want the heirs going out alone without a knight or being close to the castle should they decide they want to come here since there is only one point of entry as, as it is right now. So, but thoughts, what are, what are your feelings on this end dimension? Do, do we want to go, I, uh, I am completely content with ruling over the entirety of the nether as its own realm. I do not need another realm to be looking after. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Another like point as say... well. Oh, sorry. Let me just make not... this quick this quick point. Another thing is is that should we aid the Elven Kingdom in the conquering of the end dimension, we are allies with them. So we could hypothetically we'd still gain something. It's just they would then be armored. So all possibilities on the table. The while there's, 
I mean, whatever whatever you guys think. I know that uh, if all the princesses do end up going, all of the kingdoms will be uh, uh, undefended, mm -hmm. unattended to as well. That is also something to think about. So, well, we also have to keep in mind everyone's weaknesses as well. Mm -hmm. If they're heading to this dimension, the elves are screwed. There's probably no forest in the end, mm -hmm. or whatever this dimension may be. So they cannot heal without golden apples. Exactly. And then you have the mermaids who cannot breathe. Again, they'll be limited on time. Two Unless weaknesses use right water. there. That's also I will say, true. we need more information on this end dimension, because... Well, here's, here's everything I know, personally. Um, just going based off of the crates of Endermen, because I'm assuming they come from there based off the name. <laughs> um, Endermen don't like water. If you put water in them or if they fall in water, they get hurt and they teleport away. So I'm assuming there's no actual water in the end, but I would assume water can be in the end, unlike you. Yeah. Because I've never heard anything of the end being too hot for water. So they do not need water breathing potions. They just need to be aware of the water. However... We could sabotage them, block up their water, unless they have, like, 20 buckets of it. But even then. It also makes them sitting targets. Exactly. Hmm. We cannot easily enter their kingdom, though. They are something... They are of... Uh, in my opinion, they are... <clears throat> What's the word I'm looking for? They are a side threat. They, they're they within my peripheral, but they are not my main focus. And now that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Mm. But regardless, an eye is kept on them, but not as heavily as maybe the Seraphs or the Winter Kingdom or the Elves, even if they decide to turn. The Seraphs I am very worried about because I... May need to get some more information on them, but I am under. I I'm pretty sure I heard in passing, at some point or another in my life, that seraphs actually do just as much, if not a little bit more damage when here. Not when on fire, but when here, they still take fire damage. But I'm. I don't know if it's damage or if they have more health. They, they are not as easy to hit when here. So a fight with the Seraphs on our turf would actually not be ideal. Hmm. We do not have an upper hand when it comes well, to them here. If we end so. up having to fight the Seraphs, then we can just go to their kingdom with a lot of lava and just dunk the place, and then we can fight them there. Ground them, essentially. If ground them. And I know with Seraphs, they can't actually, they can't sleep unless they're high enough up. They wouldn't be sleeping during a war anyways. Yeah, but just in general, like, if it's, if it's a war, we gotta whittle them down. Yeah. That's and that's true. one way to do it. Hmm. Alright, I will stop talking. The floor is yours. It just appears to me that our hands are tied, no matter what we do. I we don't really think that the choice. Elven Kingdom will be upset, necessarily, but there's still three other kingdoms that we would have to worry about being exactly. upset. I, I think we should help. Why is that? Is that from fear, or is that from an actual genuine place? Well, here's the thing. I'm not afraid. I think the talk of war is a bit extreme right now. I just um, bring it up as a poss as a sure, but we're negative. already planning on how to defeat them, and that's worrying to me. Lena, I unfortunately I regret to inform you, but the thought of how to take down each kingdom individually has not been a new thought. Me. That's not is... what I mean. Mm. I just mean, I mean, not to call out you, Lucario, but you went let them die or something like that. What? Um. <laughs> Said let them suffer. There you go. Oh. 
It's um, it feels a little more emotional than I think. Um, uh, planning for the worst case. Oh, but I'm glad that's... I didn't say anything out loud then, because you would not have liked my comment either. Oh. <laughs> um. Unfortunately, out of all the kingdoms, Lena, the seraphs are on the uh, the top of my shit list. So me too, for many reasons. Oh. So. And, like I said, them potentially having more being hardier here in, within the nether mm -hmm. also makes them a threat. Because what I understand of the other kingdoms and the princesses, they, they have their strengths within their realms. The fact that the Seraphs have a strength within our realm makes mm -hmm. me uneasy i will not lie so <sighs> um yeah again just thoughts thinking extremisms i know it might not come to that but it's it's always something that it should be on our minds so why do you want to help them like why would you want to give them armor and that I oh I didn't want to talk about this just yet. Um I may have gone out yesterday. Where? In the winter kingdom? Why? I tied you uh um there, you mentioned the library, and I know you were going to go, but I thought I would go, and I wasn't alone. Yes, Did hello. you escort her there? Yes, of course. Why? Well, she was going to go without me. Lena. I, here, look. I told I... you I had it covered. I would have found out information for you. You did not need to leave. So you showed her then. How to get out. I mean, it's I... right at the front door. I so don't... it does work then, because you told me it didn't work. So did you lie to me, Sir Malachi? I did not lie. It did not work for me when I tried it. But apparently it worked for her, and then it worked for me. I do not know. But apparently it works now. That's great. That does not mean anything, because it is still against my rules to be leaving, period. Is that something that is hard to understand? Am I not making myself clear when I set in laws after closing the borders that no one is allowed to leave? Other than those given explicit permission. And I don't ever recall either of you coming and asking me. Why did you close the borders? To keep us safe. From? From the other kingdoms. And why would you think they would hurt us? What shifted? There is a multitude of factors. We're discussing them. We are not discussing them. We are discussing what we are going to do about a new dimension coming into play and possible threats of other kingdoms needing things from us and whether we want to play a part in this. That is what we are discussing today. We are not discussing why I closed the borders two years ago. That has been discussed with the necessary people and is done with. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Lena? Perfectly. Thank you. Now, you went to the Winter Kingdom. Yeah. 
to the library and you found out information. I got mom's journal. I, I have a feeling they found out about the end before us. That's why I think we should help. Them knowing about the end dimension and not telling us does not in incline me to want to help about it. What I would need more information than that. <clears throat> they left a few different pages. The last one saying they were going on some grand adventure to figure out everything. Mother and father went to the end. I need to read this book more thoroughly. But... Does it say anything in here? Why they were going there? It was something like the words that they were decoding sounded like a bad prophecy for the nether and they wanted to protect us. Hold on to that for me. <sighs> what is your thought process? Because for me, that just makes me go the opposite way. If the Winter Kingdom knew of the end, if the dimension has already been opened by other factors and potentially our parents, then they went there and that's probably how they died which just makes me believe that the end dimension is no safer than it is in any of the other kingdoms so that does not incline me to want to go or to help well, i do not want to send my allies to their deaths so i would then in turn be helping them for it to maybe not even matter that's a lot of assumptions to think that they even opened a way to get to the end. They just left towards it. Mother and father were strong. They were not... They were allied, more so, than we are now with the other kingdoms. How else would they have died? How do we know they're dead? What if they're just stuck there? That's a very optimistic view of that. They've been gone for years. Almost 10 to be specific. Are there any other thoughts on this matter? Well, again, at the end of the day, I believe our hands are still tied. Mm-hmm. It's either we help in some way, or we possibly have every kingdom against us. So it appears we don't really have a choice. 
However, I am reluctant on the armor situation. <clears throat> for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. But to make them stronger. Which is something we don't need. I am... From what I understand, from a few different sources, is that Fire Ruby is not as strong as Netherite. It's mm -hmm. almost as strong, I believe. So, we would be giving them better armor than we currently are equipped with. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot. That is an insane amount for our blacksmith. And it would have to be an all-hands-on-deck effort to obtain that much netherite when we ourselves don't even have netherite yet. Mm -hmm. I would like to say that one benefit, and I talked to you already about this, Princess Morgan, one possible benefit um, that we would have for going to the end with them and helping them open it is fostering better relations for the future. <clears throat> I do agree that it does have some right to it, but we do not know their motives. We never will unless we talk to them. We're not going to tell talk us the truth. Them. Yeah. What, whether or not they don't... tell us the truth, we have our eyes, we have our ears, we can at least be close enough to see. <clears throat> and then they see everything that we're doing as well. That's that's how it works. Yes, and I do not want them to know anything. The less information they know, the better. They would essentially be paying us off to be stronger than us, and I don't know how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. I, I dislike it quite strongly. We're already talking about them, how they're being threats, yet we're also talking about giving them more to make them even greater threats to us. There's no guarantee that they will just look kindly at us, even if we do give them the gear. Who's to say that now or along down the line, they ha they maintain this armor, they don't use it foolishly, and then they can gear up and cause something later who's to say that we don't want we want something in the future from them and they tell us no and then we can't do anything about it because they are stronger than us that is my biggest worry about this right now and i, I understand guess. fostering relations but we don't there have much to gain from them there is one thing that we will almost always have over them and that is potions you can only brew potions here, and a lot of the ingredients needed true. to make. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying, like the resources are here. Um, Specific potions, yes. Well, I'm saying like brewing stand stuff like that, like blaze powder. Um, Things that you need to brew are here, and the strongest potion materials, things like strength potions, fire resistance potions, are in the Nether, not anywhere else. So that's something that we will always have over them. So, contrary to popular belief, it is possible for them to get both Nether Wart and Blaze Rods in the overworld. I have heard from a little birdie that someone may already have the ability to have a brewing stand. They just don't have an excess amount of Blaze Powder to be fueling the potions. Like, But like you said, there are specific Nether resources that... require specific potions that require another items but again they can just come and take them they really want to do
I don't want to. I. I want to preface this. I know it seems like I'm arguing a lot of points, but I am trying to get all facets of information out there. So. I know I'm that in the end it is my decision, but you are my people and I care about your thoughts about it. I also think that we don't necessarily need to give them netherite at the end of the day. I believe that as well. Diamond armor is strong enough, especially with enchantments. They should be fine. They don't need netherite. Mm -hmm. If we have netherite, then that's fine. But I don't think we need to give them netherite in order for them to survive. Another option that was proposed by Chancellor Kano was that one to two people from the nether escort the going parties and they are the sole carrier of any items that the uh that they may need. So we are not giving them items that they can then go, oh, well, I didn't use, so I'm just going to hold on to this. I'm just going to put this away for a rainy day, per se. It would be, I need this. I need a healing potion. They splash them with the healing potion. I need this. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Um, should they need blaze rods to for any reason we hold on to them and we are the curator or creator of whatever item that requires blaze rods or blaze powder and we accompany them that way so it would be a very small party of netherians that would actually go on this so that is another option as well but i know that they we had this meeting a couple days ago, and I know that they are looking to have a, they are looking to have a decision probably soon so they can start preparing for it, if they haven't already. With the point being made that they can probably survive whatever they go against with just diamond armor that has enchants on it, then that further supports my line of thinking that they don't need our netherite. Mm -hmm. To me, it just sounds like they need us more than anything. But There's a lot we... of demands from them from us. It's felt we that need way this, recently. We need that. <laughs> we are not in a different boat than they are, however. Mm. There are things that we required of them that we... Pro pro procured, I can't say that word. Procured. Procured. Bleh. Um, and I know that the Netherian citizens come to us with requests here and there as well. Well, obviously, people are capable of sneaking out. So we can just, if they have requests, we don't need to trade for them. We just have someone go get them. That could start a whole... Yeah. That could start a whole big thing that doesn't necessarily need to happen. Well, we were discussing the potential of war anyway, so it's in line with that. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to this whole end thing, I'm assuming the other kingdoms will send everyone they can to go on these missions, correct? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not quite 
I'd have to. I would have to discuss that with them. Mm. Continuing. What is everyone's thoughts? I have, I have the prince. I have the ladies. I have fangs consistently in my ear. <laughs> What's your own Lucario. fault? Making me advisor. Um. Anyway. Okay. Giving them armor isn't, of course, the best idea. Granted, I haven't really talked to many of them. But from what the people I've talked to, they don't seem that bad. This might be a dumb suggestion, but should we put it to a vote? Or would you rather me take this information and tell you i want i want there to be option i don't want i wear the crown but you are my people and i i do care about your opinions um can i can i th throw something into the ring here uh sure as long as it's not your hat uh i'm not wearing <laughs> one so we're good um realistically <laughs> if we help open the end we're gonna want to go there anyway you agree if we help open it we're gonna want to go there yes and I would like we're gonna be sending our materials. good we're gonna be sending our good people in there mm -hmm. so i feel like it's fair to have a vote rather than you making the decision mm -hmm. that's that's my metaphorical hat in the ring i if i can i <sighs> think a vote is a yes or no and this is a lot more complex than a yes or no i think we should help netherite no like you said diamonds are fine we can have people there to throw potions at them that counts as helping i think it's more complex than just so physical that. help versus materialistic help essentially your, you're voting yes for with that yeah. one okay mm -hmm. It just seems like they want a lot of items from us to get into this dimension, and then they're expecting us to also armor them up for this dimension. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we just tell them, like, hey, we we don't have netherite, what, what are they going to do? I mean, I don't want to tell them that, if I'm going to be honest. Right. Um, right. Also, did they, in the, in the meeting, did they ever ask us for armor or gear? I'm trying to remember. I don't think they ever did. They never explicitly were like, we need armor for this. But I remember Chancellor Kano talking about how if we all do this together, like, we would want to... I think he said that he would like our assistance um, in protection, if I'm re recalling correctly. Um, I... And if he didn't say that, then I guess I'm just assuming. But are, yes. are we in a peace treaty with them? With the Elven Kingdom? With any of them. We are in an alliance with the Elven Kingdom solely. I do not know. There has been no treaty saying we will not attack you you will not attack us so then um, if we're in an alliance with the elven kingdom why are we so concerned about giving the other kingdoms materials to help them why don't we just only ally the elven kingdom in this adventure because the elven Maybe. kingdom already showed that they will trade away what we traded them to other kingdoms with, exactly. like they do with the water breathing that's mm. true but if we only give them enough stuff for one kingdom they're less likely to trade what they actually need. That's what I would Hy believe as well. Hypothetically speaking, should it be a princess, the advisor, and one to two knights? That's four people that we would need to give the right to. That's four sets. And they don't fully need... If they can... If you have the assumption that they can take the end dimension with just diamonds and they do not need to be as as protected as they think that they might, 
who's to say that we don't give them all four sets, full sets, and they go, you know what? Diamond leggings will suffice. And then they just have diamond leggings that they can then barter and use as a leverage piece to get whatever they want, more mending books. They could mm -hmm. get um, additional, they could get, uh, they could get um, like fire protection on their armor. They could enchant set pieces because I would not be giving them enchanted. They can enchant it themselves. But should they get fire protection or resistance or should they get, um, oh, what's the other one? I think there's like a water one. Or water like protection. Thorn. protection. There's water protection, thorns. but I thought there was, there's thorns, yes. So, maybe. So, many types. Should we not then specify to them? If we use our alliance as a leverage point and say, do not trade with other kingdoms and you must use this for the end, we could always just start small and. If they break that promise, we'll know their true colors. I agree. It's a matter of... That's that's another question that arises, though, is are we giving them it or are we selling it to them? Because if we sell it to them, it's theirs to do with whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So then I mean, it doesn't it matter what our alliance system. is. It could be a loan also, system. I would also like to say... Your idea only works to a point because by the time they might be able to break that rule that we set in place of, oh, you can only use this then there or whatever, and you can trade it away. By the time we find out that they might have broken that rule, they could already be gearing up to come in here and take more. That's why I was saying we start resources. small. We don't give them tons and tons and tons of stuff. It's a test. Chancellor Kano is very smart. I feel like that's something he could see through. I'm not saying that, like, the He's Elven also... Kingdom is necessarily, like, malicious and wanting to come in here and take stuff, but he's a smart individual and he can see through things like that. He also, and Sir Malachi can correct me if I'm wrong, um, he also has been training to be a Chancellor from birth. So... I don't know the ins and outs of elven customs, but he could have been trained to be conniving and manipulative from the beginning. Hmm. Who's to say that he's not... I don't... Here's the thing. He has always irked me because he is the one I... The princess has the final say, but he is very much in her ear about what is... what the cost of things should be and what that alliance entails. And they are very, very much pushing the envelope of what our alliance does and what we are willing to give them versus what they are willing to give us. And it, from, Chan from Chancellor Kano, it feels like they are consistently trying to have the upper hand when, in my opinion, in this alliance, it should be equal footing. Mm -hmm. And that bothers me. And it bothers me because if he is trying to have the upper hand, who's to say that he is not trying to do something to Princess Maholia? I'm sorry. Is this whole conversation that we've been having this entire time not about us having the upper hand? It, it, I would totally expect them to do that. Look at what we're doing right now. We it's not weird or bad. Have, we expect to have the upper hand when it comes to, like extremist like possibilities but in an alliance we would expect it to be equal footing we are trying to prepare for the worst while they might not be with and i am more speaking on equal ground when it comes to um basic materials they we have like a limited fund of the castle um and the difference that I'm speaking of is that I personally wanted carrots to make golden carrots because they are the they are the healthiest and the most filling. And by providing that to our 
by to us, they are able to create more. Princess Maholia gave that to me. I took one out of good faith. However, Chancellor Kano wishes to charge, and we we obliged, but charge one copper per one seed, which is outrageous, considering seed is seeds is so abundant in in the overworld. So that is where my inkling is coming from that I don't know. And I know it doesn't give the upper hand, but I am just worried of, like, in in an extreme sense, as Fang has said, what lengths he's willing to go to to make the Elven Kingdom more powerful when Holia has a very different trajectory when it comes to the end. Hmm. So it it just sounds, sounds like there's like... two people in charge of the Elven Kingdom instead of one. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like we need to just start writing things down. From what? Do you mean? Like conversations and stuff? Con not necessarily conversations, but just deals... Um treaties alliances it's if everything is just spoken word anything can be twisted and forgotten wouldn't be a bad idea to document what did most Chancellor of this stuff down. Kano say when we met with him about that do what do you remember? mean this is why we need to write it down um <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> he talked about making a uh, contract <laughs> Right, so he talked about making like a contract that they could only use certain items that we give them, and like there would be one person in charge of those items that's not a near not a Netherian. Right, and if they broke the contract, should we the not want to go with them? Death. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that's a. So it's either a few Netherians go; they supply the materials. We we supply the materials, and we sign this contract, or we don't go, and we prepare for potential backlash of that. Those are our options right now. I mean, the good thing about an alliance and us hopefully viewing it as equal footing is both of us write the contract. Mm-hmm. And worst case, contracts that are broken, we can always use against them. Especially with other kingdoms. Why well, would you want to trust these people when they're so untrustworthy? Everyone already has like a preconceived notion of how we are. They're not going to yes. trust our, our word over the Elven Kingdom, who has been yeah. alliances with... Well, when there's a written contract the with a signature from the princess, I would think so. Forgery exists, unfortunately. Well, we can get it notarized. I mean... There's sure, plenty but... ways to make it very visible that it's real. But we would have to prove that they broke the contract. That's also true. And the contract, this is something Chancellor Kano offered, surprisingly, was penalty of... Extremism was penalty of death. Mm -hmm. So... I might have to dip and go do some things. All right. All right. What is your thought? What hey, before you leave? Huh? What's your thought? I mean, yeah, yes to materials, no to netherite. No to netherite. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. For thank you. Well, again, I'll throw my hat in the ring here. I, in terms of voting, I think we should give them the materials and have an escort maybe for those materials. Um, and but we shouldn't give them netherite. I don't think they need it. 
I agree. I think we can help them with material gathering in terms of like enchanting and all that good garb. I think it's fine for us to help them there. Um, but otherwise, I think we leave them up to their own devices as far as their well being. Karma? I agree. Um, I still stand with my point of I don't really want to help them. Alright. So no to both. Well, the last a person's opinion I need to get on this would be Night Ash. Now, with the way that the voting system has worked is, as of right now, the vote is set to help them with materials, with the potentiality of escorting said materials um, or signing a contract saying that if they do not return them they are punishable by death um, but I still want to know Ash's opinion on it um, they may have information that may turn tables turn tides whatever Turn something. Turn something. Something with how will the turned. turn tables. Hmm. Oh yeah, I don't know, but that's as it stands. So I don't have anything else I wish to discuss with you guys in this moment. Um, so thank you for attending this meeting. It is adjourned. Princess Morgan, if I could uh, talk to you mm -hmm. in your chambers, please. We can stay yeah. in the group. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of y'all's day. Day four update. Con continued. Progress on the lab. Still very much needs to be done attended a meeting discussing future decisions regarding our stance to other kingdoms woohoo we wrote we wrote in the journal 